level. Oh my god, that's <laughs> so good, yeah. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing great. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in beautiful Shahi Sabs, Uzbekistan. Today, I'm actually doing a little road trip. I'm driving straight south, five hours to Termiz, the border town with Afghanistan. It's also really close to Turkmenistan and Tajikistan. Oh, I can't wait to explore these roads. Can't wait to see the scenery, see if we see any markets, probably try some food, maybe some fruits. And the way it works here is basically, you just gotta hire a taxi and go and it's really affordable and we're about to get in a taxi you driving me salam uh, salam yeah my big bag never fits in the trunks of any of these cars <laughs> it's really funny <laughs> let's go to termes five hour drive whoa <laughs> we've been on the road for about 25 minutes and the road that we're taking is uh it's not it doesn't have potholes but it's extremely bumpy so if he's going too fast, we like it's severe. <laughs> it's just really funny with this guy. Especially because he doesn't speak English, so we're just like laughing. It's really, really funny. And then, yeah, this is all just like fertile ground, right? Everywhere here, you're seeing guys selling, you know, watermelons. There's donkeys, <laughs> there's horses, there's cows. To the left, there's more like the mountain area. So I guess that's more like Tajikistan over there. Tajikistan is that area. And then this is obviously Uzbekistan for oof, forever. Uzbekistan is a huge country in Central Asia. Well, there are the dogs, the dogs. There's a lot of dogs jumping over the, the median here. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is all farmland. Basically, woo! <laughs> you saw him, oh my God. That dog was wild. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, this, guy, this is how it's gonna be, guys. It's gonna be a fun road trip. We're gonna see some stuff. Hopefully, we see more food. I'm really, really hungry right now. You know, waking up this early, you really, uh, it's hard because you get really, really hungry. I've been up already almost two hours, so, so yeah, my appetite is there. So the road up here is actually way better than it was before. Before it was like, you know, really bumpy and like re really like hilly in a way. You like would fly up and down. This one's like perfectly paved. Like it's like a brand new road. Oh, and now we have some trees. Look, what happened? The vegetation just changed. Like it feels like a whole different place now. This is incredible. So now we're gonna look for a place to eat. Hopefully we find it in the next like five, 10 minutes. It's already 8.06. Been on the road for roughly like 100 minutes, roughly like a little past 100 minutes. Oh man, we gotta eat soon, man, soon. So he's trying to find me some breakfast. <laughs> he's just asking for where, where is the closest place? Whoa. Oh my god, there's a butcher's right there. Pigs hanging. Oh, there's, there's food, there's food, there's food everywhere. Melone, watermelon. So we're in a little town. What town are we in? What town is this? Do we know? Oh wow, Somsa. Somsa. Bula? Yeah. Bula? Yeah. Somsa. Wow, this is a different type of Somsa. This is like a big Somsa. It's like a huge one, like my hand. Whoa. So this lady, all she sells is Somsa. We also got some like, I think it's like a tomato broth. But this somsa looks a little different from the other ones I've had because it's like, you know, it's round, it's thick, it's dense, it's full of beef, got mad onions in there. And this is how you eat it. Oh. Wow. Wow. The amount of onions and beef. Mmm. Baked to perfection. It's a little hot. I like how there's not too many spices. And outside it's a little crunchy. Inside the dough is very soft. There's so much beef and so many onions. The salsa itself is so different from a samosa in India, in Panaz, like in Argentina, in Latin America. So different. It's not fried, baked, right? Sometimes they make them in tandoor. This is such an amazing thing to have for breakfast. I don't really love eating so many onions like this, but this is really delicious. All right, so you're saying to put some of this. What is this? Hmm? 
Tough nut. My taxi driver here is the man. He really is. Okay, so before I finish my somsa, they brought us this incredible salad. Tomato salad with cucumbers, onions. Mm. 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 Very nice, yeah. Mm. Like creamy dressing. It's not, this is not like a Caesar, but it's it's similar. There's a little bit of cheese in it. Where's the uh, tomatoes in Uzbekistan are the best. And if you guys didn't know, these are the cups in Uzbekistan. These gas. These the cups. Yeah, the gas. So I got, you get gas water, regular water, but they serve it these cups. The gas, but these gas. Okay, man? A tea? 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 Choi. Choi. Oh, last bite of the somsa. So my taxi driver went a little crazy. I thought we were having the salad salad and that's it. But no, he actually got a huge beef dish. Oh my God. Mm. I didn't expect to eat this for breakfast. And look, right here, this is the liver. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. bread. And he also gave me some bread. So I put the liver inside the bread. Made myself like a little liver sandwich. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that's so good. Yeah, yeah put it in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Some tomato. Oh my god. Die, die, die. <laughs> I'm having mad fun with this guy. I had one little hard piece, and the rest is like butter. This is the rib, right? Wow. Take off some of that bones. Mm. Oh wow. Meaty, fatty. Oh. What a breakfast. That's like gelatin. Oh my god. Get the bread. Get some of that sauce. This it's delicious tomato cheesy dressing. Gotta go in here. Rahmat. I'm done. I thought really the samosa was the only thing we're eating. And the salad came. And that, yeah. The onions. Onions. Good. Mm, the green tea is really nice. I love the tea up here in Uzbekistan. It's so good. Woo. Wow, what an epic breakfast. So huge. I thought we were just having the samsa, but no, they had to bring out a tomato salad, a beef dish, some bread, some tea. Wow, so filling. Everything was so delicious. All right, guys, so we have to continue our road trip. We still have about three hours to go. Let's do this. We're currently passing through a small town. You can see a big, big market. Everybody's surrounded. Lots of cars everywhere. And I wanted to tell you, you know, for me, my favorite thing to, about traveling is the road trip experience. You know, flying is cool. Trains are nice. But the road trip is really where you feel the country. You can really see the culture. You know, you interact with locals. You eat their food, you experience, you know, really what it's all about. And you pass through all these small little places that you would never have seen before if you were taking a flight or a train. You know, that's sort of how it usually is. So for me, my favorite way to travel is by car. Get in the car, drive, or be driven, and just go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> okay, so we're pulling up to a gas station right now. Oh, when you go at five in the morning, when you go on these road trips, man, I think the heat also, it's really, really hot outside, it's like boiling. This is not like a regular gas station. I don't know exactly what it is because they're not getting gas, they're doing something else. Like they're putting it into the engine. So I have no idea what they're doing. I don't even think it's oil change, but everybody's doing it here. And one thing I gotta say is that this is definitely the hardest place I've been in Uzbekistan. It's scorching. It has to be easily like 95, 
100 degrees right now. Every single person is staying in the shit as you can see. No one like rests in the sun. It's extremely hot. Like man, just being out there for a second, I was boiling. Here it's cool, there's wind. You, know, you get a little bit of, you know, breeze. But over there it's like, like if I step out here. Ooh, that sun is brutal. How is that gas? This can't be gas. It looks like it's just something pressure. I'm so confused, so confused. So our road trip to Termas is almost done. We have roughly about 30 minutes. I'm looking here on Google Maps and I see that we are in, in that little pocket, you know, that little pocket where it separates Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, and Tajikistan. And this is the only road that goes to the capital from here. The other road goes to Tajikistan, so to Dushanabe, Dushanabe. And uh, yeah, I mean, here we go. It's, it's super hot. I was just reading right now that it's the hottest area in the country. So Termes is officially the hottest area in all of Uzbekistan. One of its main attractions is a rock-cut Buddhist temple complex called Karatepa. So there's Buddhism down here. They also have Kampiya Tepe, which is one of Uzbekistan's oldest archaeological sites. There's also an archaeological museum, and back in 2002, they celebrated the 2,500 year anniversary. So it's an extremely ancient city, and I gotta give a big shout out to my boy Brandon for sending me this info. Brandon, you're the best, man. And yeah, I mean, we're almost there, but God, it's scorching. And luckily, I'm not sweating too much because of the wind, but when you step outside, it's just unbearable, unbearable. I'm really nervous about how I'm gonna do the next, uh, next 48 hours here in Termes. After a five hour drive, we finally have arrived here in Dermes. We're sort of uh, complicated here. It's sort of complicated because we're trying to find out where the people are that are meeting me. So I'm basically meeting with each one of the tourism boards, little government, you know, boards here, at each place, at each city I'm visiting. And, oh my God, it's we're asking for directions because we don't know exactly where we're going. This guy is not from here, obviously. So my driver is still very confused of where this place is. So he keeps asking and asking and asking basically everybody, you know, where is this place? Where is this place? Where is this place? But what I've noticed is that this city is, uh, has really wide streets, lots of green. Right here to the right, we have a park. And some of the older buildings look very Soviet. Obviously, the Soviets were here, so you have that Soviet architecture style. And over here, I mean, very nice little park. Ferris wheel and we're looking for a hotel. That's why I'm 100% I'm sure we're looking for the hotel. Hello. Hello. Assalam. Assalam alaikum. Pa ruski ni gavarite. No speak Russia. No speak Uzbek. No speak Uzbek. Yeah, so which hotel? Which hotel? Hotel Silk Road. Silk Road Hotel? Yes. Awesome. Best hotel. Yes, yes, yes. Best, best hotel. hotel. Awesome, awesome. awesome. I'm sure, I'm sure it's the best hotel. Yeah. Silk Road Hotel? Come on. So many hotels on this, on this strip right here. Bank, hotel, bank, hotel. I've seen stuff like this in Moldova as well. Very similar to Moldova. So like all these countries up here, Northern Central Asia are part, were part of Soviet Union. And yeah, I mean, this is like, uh, so it's what? It's retail, just retail and housing, retail and housing. That's all it is here. Lots of green as well. And I, I can't wait to see my hotel, man. The Silk Road Hotel, the best. Silk Road. Oh. Made to the hotel. Silk Road Termes. Wow, they're all about the camels here. My friend, good times? We had a good time, we ate good food. Somsa. I just checked into the Silk Road Hotel and this is my room. Huge room. Got a queen size bed over there. Actually, I think it's a king size bed. And then I got this couch, little seating area. It gave me lots of water, because obviously here in Termes, it's really, really hot, so you gotta drink water, gotta stay hydrated. And this is my bathroom. Whoa, this is nice. Super nice bathroom. Whoa. Okay, right, so I don't have a shower, I have a huge tub. What is this? <laughs> That's awesome. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the journey from Shahi Sabs all the way down to Termes. It was a five hour drive. I mean, there's no other way to get here from there. You have to drive all the way down. It's really affordable. I think it costs like, oh man, I don't know, it's like 40 or $50 US to get down here with the taxi. So super affordable. And I highly suggest you stop at that place where we stopped. It's around two hours in. So two hours down the road, you get to this little you know, little restaurant on the side of the road. They have like one table outside in the shade and there you can have delicious somsas, delicious salad and mouth-watering beef. Like, 
That food was epic, epic food. And then after that, we kept going, and you start seeing the landscape changing, changing, it gets hotter and hotter. You see more vegetation, more plant life, lots of you know watermelons, figs, so many different fruits and vegetables down here. Lots of fruit, like a lot of fruit. And yeah, guys, we're here in Termes, the hottest place in Uzbekistan, right on the border with Afghanistan, you know, southernmost city, southernmost town. And guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. And stay tuned for the next episodes in Termes. Where have you been? Peace.